Hey there do-it-yourself technicians. Today I want to talk to you about scams. I'm going to apologize up front because my voice is just not right today but this was too important to miss out on. In the last couple of weeks three people I know have fallen for a scam. Each of them has been led through a process and eventually given remote access to their computer and one of them lost over $3,000 just transferred out of their account, possibly never to be seen again. Thankfully, the other two thought better of it at this point, wish they'd done it sooner, and managed to avoid any financial losses, hopefully. It often starts with an email message or a phone call. There might be a pop-up message on your computer, or you might receive a text or some other chat on your phone. I've got one telling me about an order I never placed with Amazon for a Canon camera. iPhone 11 orders are common at the moment. Or they might be telling you a warrant's been issued for your arrest, or that your NBN or internet connection is going to be cut off. Honestly, at this point, all of them just hang up, ignore, forget about it. What is it they're doing? Well, mostly from what I can tell, and I've researched this a bit in the past and even had one of them call my office, they get you to run some commands on your computer and bring up some scary looking things that you simply don't understand until they get you panicked enough that you'll allow them remote access to your computer so that they can fix it. At this point they're going to try and get you to log into your bank or often for older people superannuation funds so that they can steal your savings from there. The clearest I can be about this is unless you know the actual person on the other end of the phone do not give them remote access to your computer now remote access tools are great things like log me in team viewer any desk rescue one two three there's dozens of tools out there and i use several of them myself but i use them when i'm on the phone to someone who knows me and knows my business and knows why i'm there microsoft will not ring you Amazon will not ring you. Telstra probably won't ring you. And even your bank is very unlikely to ring you. But if you really, really think it might actually be them, look up a listed number and use that to call them. Not a number that they give you because that's just part of their scam. These guys are professionals. They have full call centers with lots of people. You can hear them talking in the background. They may even transfer you to their supervisor or their manager. According to the ACCC Scamwatch site, over $100 million has been lost to scammers already this year, and the year isn't half over yet. In fact, there's lots of cool statistics at scamwatch.gov.au that you can look up and resources you can read to prepare yourself so that you're not caught by the scammers. So what happens if you do get caught by the scammers? First step is lock all your bank accounts and change all of your passwords. If you have to store your passwords somewhere, I highly recommend LastPass, and there's an episode about that up here. The only way to be safe is to back up any data files that you might have on your machine, wipe it completely, and start again with a fresh copy of the operating system, then reload your apps. Make sure you've got a good antivirus program then do a scan of everything that you backed up to make sure that it's clean before adding it back to your computer. Be safe. I'm going while my voice still hangs on. The Tech Doctor exists to help you become your own technician. Learn about the technology, protect yourself from the bad guys, and fix it when it breaks. If you're watching this on YouTube, there's some older videos you may not have seen before, here and here. And you can subscribe to the channel by clicking over here, and to our mailing list by clicking up here. Thank you so much for watching, have a great day, and I'll see you on the next episode.